At long last, our report on the Electronic Entertainment Expo is ready. The shocking news, no new game systems were introduced. No M2, no PlayStation 2 or PlayStation Type-C, no Nintendo bulky drive, nothing, nada, zilch. Also shocking, only four new N64 titles were shown at Nintendo's booth. Zelda 64 was not shown. Star Fox 64, which was new at the time but is out in stores now, was the only title developed by Nintendo itself. The other three were productions of England-based Rare, Nintendo's protege. Here is Rare's Banjo-Kazooie, a game in which you constantly switch between Banjo the bear and the bird riding along in his backpack. As the bird, you can fly Banjo to higher places in this vast, expansive 3D world. Rare will publish a game for the first time ever with Conker's Quest, a game that looks very similar to Super Mario 64. Lastly, Rare is also responsible for GoldenEye 007, a Doom-style game that Nintendo says is not another Doom clone. Only time will tell. However good these games turn out to be, the fact remains that these are only four games. Victor Ireland, president of the video game company Working Designs, had some excellent comments to make about Nintendo at E3. In Japan, you can't give the N64 away. The consumers are on to the game and are quite jaded with the company. I think if NOA doesn't get their act together, the pessimism of the development community will soon spread to the consumers at large, as it has in Japan. When they realize there's only perhaps three or four really good titles being released for the system in a 12-month period. Even if they do shore things up, their ridiculous cart-based distribution model will always be their limiting factor. The world has gone CD, and someone forgot to tell Nintendo. Even their bulky drive can't patch that error in judgment. This guy speaks the gospel. Moving over to Sony, the picture is better, but not by a whole lot. Listen to this. One of the gaming trade magazines reported that 80% of all PlayStation video games fall into either the racing, sports, or fighting genre. Sports account for 35%, racing 25%, and fighting 19%. These genres often account for low quality copycat titles and just plain boredom, a serious problem considering they make up 80% of the PlayStation's library. Although Nintendo's bulky drive was not at the show, we did obtain the following information on the unit, nicknamed the 64DD. Diskettes for the system will hold 64 megabytes of data, eight times the amount of data in Mario 64. The disk drive will be packed with a random access memory pack, which is meant to be plugged into the memory expansion slot on the top of the N64. The 64DD will also allow for networking capabilities to enhance the gameplay experience, but internet access has not been confirmed. Heading back to Sony, Crash Bandicoot 2 looks mesmerizing, at least in terms of graphics. Never has a PlayStation exhibited such beautiful graphics outside of cinematic sequences. Spawn looks better than expected, with a graphical style similar to Tomb Raider. However, it is unknown whether the actual gameplay is more like Tomb Raider or Doom. Sony is really pushing its new icon Blasto. Didn't anybody tell them the graphics are awful? We can deal with the cartoony aspect, but the overall simplistic nature and lack of detail is a real letdown. In what may be the year's most innovative game, Parappa the Rapper seems less like a game and more like an interactive music video in which you make up the lyrics as you go along. We're probably way off here, but that's the impression we got from the footage. Who knows what you do in this game, but it looks wild. We could just slap Sony for skimping on their footage of Final Fantasy VII, the most anticipated game of the year. When we previewed the game last year, we expressed disappointment, but after seeing the display for the game at E3, let's just say things are looking a lot better now. That's about it for the major E3 news. We will continue previewing games before their market release, so be sure to watch future shows where we will show you Capcom's hot new lineup.